Love and greetings. This is a channeled message for today, the 12th of April. Titled Fireflies in Flight. The shamans believe in the divine oneness. At its most fundamental, this is the belief that everything in life is delicately interconnected. That every particle and organism from the most microscopic to the largest of beasts, transmits a vibration, an energetic frequency that is unseen to the naked eye, but is very evident even in the forms of science. It is life that pulses through us as it pulses through them. We are all vessels of light on the frequency of love and joy. This is where our souls connect. But on a physical realm, visible to the eye, we are earth people. And with every breath that we take, and with every belief deeply seated in our hearts and our souls, this manifests into actions that leaves an energetic footprint in our waking life that transmits to others and the world around us. One of the greatest sorrows, however, is the disillusion of man, that in order to succeed, sometimes we must step alone as an island. We fight against ourselves, competing, foe against foe, brother against brother. It's a life enslaved by the ego. However, the reality is when we disengage, we step away from our own light, we step in the way of our own abundance and our own joy and happiness and success. When we cut off the energetic vibration that connects us to the rest of the world and humanity, whatever frequency that is of a higher vibration around us, it's like cutting a blood vessel, a life vessel. And so we engaged in very limited resources of nurture. And so in this way and in this fashion, the seeds of loneliness is born in our hearts and it grows over time. And we only need to open our eyes to stand still and look within the community to see its far-reaching effects. It is the it is the refugees who go and take solace in the doctor's rooms for an hour because it is free and it is because that there they can sit in silence and not feel alone and isolated in a world that is new to them where they do not speak the language or the culture or know people. It is a lonely world. It is also the world where there is many old age homes who feel isolated who feel forgotten and unloved by those that they most cared about. It is the same elderly who go into community centers around the world, around Australia, to get that meal once a week that is fully wholesome and good for them, just so that they can look into a stranger's eyes and feel seen, to feel a stranger's kindness when they put their hands on theirs. It is those hard-working businessmen in countries like Japan that work day in, day out, never having time to go home and instead finding shelter in the little motels that pay by hour. It is also the loneliness that is deeply seated in a lot of the teenagers in the community, where their social environments is based on filters it is based on technology and the amount of likes and the amount of social media that they can cover. But they feel undervalued. They feel unseen. Unheard. And we can stand there and do nothing about it. But who does that make us? What vibration does that set us in? when we stand back, when we can see, and we know that there is more that we can do. 
And the reason you know that there is more that you can do is when you look at them, your heart pines. That is a vibration to say that we are sometimes going against where we should be going. Because when you are in the vibration and in alignment and in the flow of what your beliefs and your heart desires are, you feel joyful and abundant too. You would not feel that sorrow when you look upon them. And so the fireflies in flight, the fireflies in flight in the forest is encouraging us to embrace this interconnectedness and this magic of life all before us. It is to stand still and to listen to the wind as the wind talks. It is stand still to listen to the silence because the silence speaks. It is in the silence that we see clarity amongst the confusion. In the silence, we also need to listen to our hearts because our hearts will tell us the truth. The truth of who we are, the truth of what we need, the truth of where we wish to go. It is our light and our vibration. And you know that the higher your vibration, the better the people that you attract. They accept you for who you are. They celebrate you when you win. They lift you up and prop you up when you are not. The firefly animal spirit is a powerful animal. It illuminates and sets us on the hero's journey. The journey of mindfulness, the journey of self-discovery. And as it guides you and lights that light up before you, you can see your path in front and you can take steps forward knowing fully well that your feet will land on stability. The firefly also stirs within us a curiosity, the innocence and the magic of the unseen, where the physical world and the spiritual world meet and connect. This is the realm where possibilities take place, where things can manifest. The firefly teaches us that where there are challenges and blocks in our life, when there is light cast on it, when there is understanding and clarity, we can make sure decisions on how to overcome the challenge. It gives us the prospect of growth through reflection, but it also allows us and teaches us that we need to be a light for others as well, just as the firefly shines a light for us. Sometimes in the darkness, all you need is just a speck of light, a speck of hope to get you through the other day. Knowing that the next day is filled with more opportunity, less heartache. An opportunity to turn grief into joy. So I urge you to follow in the firefly spirit, to help bridge the gap between those that are lonely in the community within our friends and our families and to stop saying we are well and we are fine when people ask us when deep down we know that we are needing more support than usual it is standing in our authenticity that we start addressing issues like mental health. Letting that become normal. Giving the understanding and the hope that we all are on that path at some stage of our life. But also the acknowledgement that we all can overcome it if we stand together interconnected as one, as a community based on love, compassion, forgiveness and hope. 
we are all learning, we are all growing. So reach out that hand. Integrate them back into a place where they feel safe, where they feel peace, and where they can heal. And most importantly, a place where they feel belonging. Because we, again, are all interconnected. We are all fireflies in flight. And this is the message and guidance for today. I thank you for your time, for listening. And I send you with love, light and blessings. Good night.